Hi, welcome to Forgotten Legends of Sound. Today we are doing just our short little review of Sonata Arctica with Unia. Um, this album came out in 2007. Sonata Arctica had been making music since the mid-90s. Um, awesome power metal band. This is when they kind of ventured into more prog metal territory. And it was fun playing this album with you guys and reading the lyrics because this album is very dense. It's got like so many ideas all crammed together in a song. So this is not something that's for people that are like looking for catchy choruses and sing along stuff in normally like typical for power metal kind of stuff. Um, this is a little bit more challenging, but if you give it some time, I think that I, I love this album but that's only because I've heard it so much. And when I first heard it, I was really disappointed. So anyways, I, it's an album that I would, I would recommend. I think it's fantastic. It's daring for its time. And the uh, lyrics are really interesting. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Unia. Yeah, it's definitely got like a lot of room to grow. Um, Unia, it is a challenging album. A lot of the musicianship, it, it is a lot more than than your normal Sonata Arctica album, you know. Yeah. Uh, less of like the speed metal, power metal vibe, and more so, honestly, more so prog metal and whatnot. Um, it does remind me, uh, the best way I can explain this album is like a Queen, a Queen album, but like on steroids kind of thing. Like there's moments that feel a lot like Bohemian Rhapsody with a lot of choirs and and whatnot um but yeah definitely give this album a shot if you're open to something new and challenging i, I would mm -hmm. say so um yeah it was a good it was a good uh listen uh today um so yeah i guess that's all i got yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah and for me i'm i'm coming at this with pretty fresh ears i am familiar with sonata but not this album in particular and uh yeah it, it was challenging <laughs> um, <laughs> um i but it's it was like it was engaging enough that I want to go through it again and I want to latch on to certain moments and I want to get familiar with stuff. So, yeah. And like this, this is definitely not my bread and butter. Um, even like just straight up power metal isn't, but I've been coming to enjoy it a lot more. I've been coming to, yeah, just enjoy this type of music a little bit more. And, and not this. Man, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Yep. Anyways, yeah, give, give it a shot. I'm going to listen to it more. I'm going to get a little more into it. Definitely an interesting album. Yeah. 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 And, I mean, if you like stuff like Blind Guardians, like A Night at the Opera or something, some where it's got its roots in yeah. power metal, but it still is so bombastic, has so many ideas all crammed together, then you may dig this. Because it's definitely... Uh, for a genre that's oversaturated with gamma, Halloween, Stratoween kind of yeah. clones, <laughs> this is like nice for a breath of fresh air, you know, something unique, something different, I, you know? I, I like that band, Gamma, Stratoween. Gamma, Stratoween. Yeah. They're pretty dope, man. They're pretty dope. Yeah. Um, so the score that we gave this album was an 8.77, so pretty high. Um, and it's a fantastic album that we'd recommend to you guys, so... Yeah, check it out. definitely check it out um, either on YouTube or on Rumble to see the full analysis. That's yeah. where we go through each of the song and give our ratings for the songs and, and go into depth about the song. So yeah. check that out if you're curious, you know, but this is just kind of the short. Yeah. So, yeah. And Unia means dreams. So kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>